All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back uh, to this episode of Film Sessions or Film Commentary uh, with the Panther Nation Podcast. I'm Rashad, one half of the Panther Nation Podcast. Uh, David is my co-host. Um, he doesn't do these. I do these. So um, welcome back. Um, today we're going to look at Jeff Gladney. Um, he came up on our mock draft um, on Monday. Um, we go live every Monday, by the way, uh, 8.30 p.m. And this guy came up. Um, somebody said we need to take a look. I apologize. I don't remember who said it or else I will give you credit. But I don't remember. Um, this guy's projected as a round two um, cornerback. Uh, right now he's ranked, according to PFF, uh, Pro Football Focus, he's ranked the number seven cornerback um, in this draft. Uh, but I like I like some of the details I'm reading um, off of this guy. Um, you know, one interesting fact. First of all, he's... Uh, let me let me get his official measurements. Sorry, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I should be prepared. Let me grab his official measurements. Um, his official me- measurements have not come in yet because they measure today. But he is my bad. He is um, six foot, 183 pounds unofficially. That's unofficial. Um, so uh, you know, I like, but I like what I'm reading off of this guy. Um, he's a feisty. I heard he's a feisty cat. He's a feisty cat, you know. We we got Dante Jackson, and I'm hearing he's got that he's got that dog in him. So I, I've never seen him play, um, so I'm, I'm I'm very interested uh, in seeing what seeing what the film shows. Uh, but but one um, one interesting fact: he's apparently extremely fast. So and this is what uh, according to Pro Football Focus, this is what they have to say: using the speed, um, Gladney's allowed minimal open targets downfield. In fact, over the past two years. He's forced tight coverage on 79.5% of his targets, 10 plus yards downfield, which uh, was sixth best rate and nearly 20% 20 percentage points above FBS average. So it's pretty good corner, especially down uh, downfield. Um, he's forced the second most contested targets uh, these last two seasons with 46, um, and he rarely loses on those. On those 46, Gladney allowed just 10 to be caught while forcing 27 incompletions. He took a step back from 2018, lowering his coverage grade from 90 to 72, um, but was still very much a shutdown corner. Um, so a- according to Pro Football Focus, they're saying you won't see another guy that's, that's uh, more battle-tested than Jeff Gladney. Um, it, uh, you know, so it's it's the step up in competition. Yes, um, in the NFL, we don't know whether we're going to see that, but I think – um, you know, could be a steal, could be a steal in the late in, uh, in, in the second round. So let's take a look um, at the film and see what the film says. All right, uh, let's let's get it cracking. I like his size. Pause. Six foot. He looks bigger than 183 on the film, but I I can't tell. He looks like a rather big corner, which is what we need. You know, ideal size. You're looking for a six foot guy. Six foot one would be ideal. Um, but that's okay. Nice, real physical, real physical. With the wide receiver, albeit that was run support, but real physical. And he's playing Purdue, guys. There's no nice, nice pick. That's a nice pick. That was impressive. Nice. He's got real good feet, real fluid. When he when he was uh, backpedaling, he was real fluid. Look at that. Mmm, got a tackle, broski. That wasn't him, but just saying. TCU's pressure is really causing this dude to panic in the pocket. He's got some air and throws. It's like they're not even going his way, though, really. Nice. 
They push your own man down. Yeah, you're not getting much work, man. You're not getting much work. Nice. Mm, nice stiff arm. Nice. Run support is pretty solid. I like that so far from what I see. I don't think he's been targeted once. I could be tripping, but dang, come on now. Throw it his way. This quarterback is under some serious duress. Here we go. Nice. Ah! That's the thing they call P.I. on that anyway. I think they call P.I. You got to look at, the, look, look at the ball. Look for the ball. Yeah, this quarterback's having a hard time. Oh, flea flick easy. Oh, nice, nice. He didn't. He didn't get caught. He didn't get caught slipping on the on. That's good awareness. And he is not. He is not shy when it comes to run support. How many cornerbacks have we watched film on that shy away from run support? I like that. Mm, his shoulders jacked up. One positive that I'm I, I read on this guy is that um he is scheme independent, so he can run a zone, um or a uh, man scheme. Um, the, the only scheme that they said didn't work for this guy was a cover three. Well, not, not that it didn't work. It, would, it wouldn't get the best out of his, his, uh, his skill set. A cover three wouldn't get the best out of his skill set. I think he's more of a physical guy. Um, yeah, he's not shy. He is not shy to hit, bro. I like that. I really like that. He looks bigger than 183. I'm sorry. He looks like he at least just shy under 200. I could be tripping though. He look kind of look like a linebacker almost. Nice. I was gonna see if we see him seen him on the blitz. Oh, he got that ain't him. I was about to say, I saw that too. I thought it was him. All right, we'll, we'll take. I, I saw that this was his best film, so we'll take a look at this joint. This wasn't the, uh, the planned one, but we'll take a look at it. Dang, these jerseys are terrible. hard to see the numbers on these joints. Going up against Colin Johnson too, uh, who's also in his draft. Six foot five cat, really big. So it's like big corner on big receiver almost. Yep, they lined up against each other right now top. Here we go. 
Nice. That's a good catch by Cal uh, Calvin. Colin. That's a tough ask, man. These are the kind of guys you're gonna see in the in the league, bigger corner or bigger receivers. So you gotta be able to be strong with them. He's having a, huff, uh, a tough time shedding these blocks, though. Ah, bad throw. Here we go, Colin Johnson. Oh, nice. That wasn't him, but nice play. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, that wasn't him. Mmm. That's a good throw. That's a really good throw. Okay, here we go. Ah, nice comeback. I want to see, man. If he didn't have no, if he didn't have any help right there, Colin was gonna get away. I want to see him tackle. You gotta be able to tackle. Yeah, it's a big. That's a big dude, though. I'm, I'm gonna keep it, keep it real. It's gonna be tough for anybody. Nice. If the quarterback threw it behind him, he threw it behind him a little bit. That's still a good. That's a really good play, though. Really good play on the ball. Nice. It's a nice play. Forcing them to the end zone. Out of bounds almost. Made it a tough throw. Overthrew him. It's right there with him, step for step. Ah. It's a good catch, Colin. I feel like I'm doing a Colin Johnson film session. That was a tough angle, but that wasn't him. That wasn't Jeff, but that was a tough angle by another guy. Mm. I mean, this is a real. 
Did he catch? Did he catch that? Nah, he was out. I mean, that's just a really good catch, though, by Kyle. I'm not gonna lie. That's a that's a good catch. It, it ain't nothing really you could do. There's not much you can do to defend that man. That's a miscommunication by somebody. That might have been on Jeff. I couldn't tell. It's a good tackle. Nice. Getting in there on, his, on these run plays. I like that. He is not shy. Nice. That's a good good play by that corner. Wasn't him, but. Hmm. Nice. Didn't give up on the play. He could have given up. He didn't give up. Mm. Nice. Nice. I like that. Nice play recognition. Hit him with the jump pass. That's terrible, bro. You're not Tim Tebow. Okay. Oh, he pushed. Did he push off? Yeah, that's a flag. He pushed off. He was right there with him. Yeah, he definitely pushed off. Colin trying to take my man lunch, bro. Forced him out of bounds. Nice. He pushed him to the sideline. Used it. Used that. Si used the sideline as a, as a defender. That was a good play by uh, Jeff. Nice. He is all over Colin, man. He not let him get much yak at all. He's right there when he catches the ball. Nice. Is that oh, okay? That wasn't him. That was a nice play. This man got all day to throw. Nice. Mm. Nice. I can't couldn't tell who it was. Did he catch? He caught that. That's impressive. Colin, that's impressive, bro. Not going to help you in the NFL, but that was a good good college catch. Nice. Nice PBU. Pass breakup for anybody asking or wondering. That's, that's a nice look for the ball. Got his hand on the ball. That's a nice play. Colin is, Colin is, is getting after him sometimes, but he's, he's definitely winning some battles too. So, oh. Okay, one on one up top. This is what I want to see. Dang, don't let him score. I want to see that fade. I want to see that fade go to your boy. 
up top. Come on, throw it. Got some suckers. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a really nice play. You know how difficult that is? Hold on. You know how difficult that is? He had a decision to make. He had a decision to make, okay? Look, look where he is. Look how <laughs> he baited the quarterback. He said, all right, I'm I'm going I'm to come back on five or nine. That's Colin Johnson, I think. I'm going to come back. But then was had the wherewithal to see that this guy was behind him too. So he kind of baited the quarterback into throwing that ball. And then he just had the athleticism right here. I mean, that's – that's remember that Josh Norman play uh, against the Saints? That's exactly what that looks like. Uh, where he leaned back, but that's super athletic. That's really that's a really impressive play. That is really impressive. That is really impressive. That's just awareness, man. That's just knowing what's going on, knowing the knowing the route combination that this dude is stopping, and let me play in between, and just be athletic enough to back that ball down. That's great play, man. That's a really good play. Mm. Nice tackle. Nice. All right, that's gonna do it for Jeff. Um, really good, really good player, man. I could see us, I could see us rocking with him um, in the second second round. Uh, I wouldn't be mad at that. We we have a listen. The Panthers have a need for a corner, um, a cornerback, and again, I don't know what scheme we're we're running. I don't know if we're gonna be a, a zone team, a man team. Have no clue. Okay, so I'm just speaking as if the as I'm speaking to the. The, the need of the position. We need a cornerback. I just don't know what type of cornerback we need. And he seems to be able to to check both boxes, whether zone or man. I, I, we just don't know what the Panthers are going to be running with the Phil Snow defense. Um, so I think this guy would be a great a great add. I don't know where. Again, he's projected as a round two cornerback. We'll see how he tests. Um, but listen, I, I wouldn't be mad at this pick at all. I wouldn't be mad at this pick at all because we need we do need a cornerback. With uh, J uh, James Bradbury, looks like he's going to test free agency. Um, and uh, only cornerbacks we really have is Dante Jackson and, uh, and Cole Luke, a couple other role players. Because um, uh, Ross Cockrell is also a free agent, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Listen, we, we need a cornerback. And he looks like he'd be a good one. All right. That being said, th hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.